guys, I have another 30 minute jump board workout followed by a 30 minute reformer workout for you guys today. If you don't have a jump board, you can always come in around the 30 minute mark and just do the reformer workout. I'm going to use just a head, use my head pillow. If you have a yoga block, you can also use that. I found it super helpful when I'm jumping so my head's lifted so I can imprint my back a little bit more so my abs are fully engaged. So let's get started. I'm going to use a red and a blue spring to warm up. We're going to start with double leg jumping. You can always change your springs to a little bit lighter if you find this is too heavy. Always when you jump out, you want to make sure that back is pressed against the reformer. So you don't want to have, be able to put your fingers between, you don't want any space between your lower back and the mat. So don't let your fingers go through. Also, when you jump out, make sure your feet are aimed towards the top of the jump board. You don't want them to go lower because then you might arch the back. So arms on by your side. We're going to start with your knees together, feet together, parallel position. You're going to inhale and exhale, jump out. Start jumping, press that back down. You can feel the abdominals engage as you press. Squeeze those knees together, squeeze those quads each time you jump out. Make sure you land soft and make sure you're landing on the balls and then dropping those heels. So your whole foot is getting that motion on the reformer or on the jump board. your breath come down a little bit. We're going to start in first position again. As you jump out, you're going to bring your knees to your chest like a little frog. So keep that turn down quick with those feet up. So take an inhale and exhale. 
Jump out, pull those knees up, and then land soft. Keep that turn out. Use the lower abs to help with the legs. It's a quick motion. Try to squeeze those heels together. jump out and draw little circles with those legs. So kind of be half circle around. I'm going to open my legs wide and together first. So up to the ceiling, out and around. Your feet are going to start in parallel position. Again, only make the circle as big as you feel comfortable with. If you can't feel very big, that's fine. So I make sure your feet always circle enough. Quick around to get back to the jump board. Take an inhale. Exhale, jump out, circle up and around. Use those lower abs and inner thighs. Land soft as you come down. springs out again. I'm going to put a blue and a white spring on. So we're going to get into a little bit more abdominal 
Still work the legs, but get into a little bit more abdominal core work. You're going to lay down onto your back. Okay, your arms are going to be behind your head. Lift up into a crunch position. If you don't want to stay lifted, keep that head down. So I'm going to stay lifted for now. You're going to exhale, press it out, and then land soft. Try to imprint that back down, using those abs. Last one, and we're going to go into like a double leg stretch. So jump out, grab one leg, drop it down, and then the other leg too. You're jumping off of both legs, bringing one leg up and pulling it into your chest. I'm staying lifted with my shoulders. If it bothers your neck, put your head down. Ten more here. And 
two. And one, come on in. Woo, just press those feet again. She got those toes. All right, let's roll on up. We're gonna get into a little side jumping. Now I'm gonna take off my white spring so I have one single blue spring on. I'm gonna put my head pillow just on the floor. And I'm gonna lower my headrest down. So we're gonna do side jumping, being up on your forearm. If you have any neck tension or you find this is uncomfortable, you can always put the box or the pillow down or yoga block to lay fully on your side. So I'm gonna be starting on my left hip. I'm gonna bring my right left forearm just in front of the shoulder blocks because it's a little bit more comfortable for me. Make sure your bottom is scooted towards the back of the reformer. My right foot is onto the jump board. We're gonna start parallel. You're gonna lift up through this left hip and oblique or left oblique, press up out of the shoulder so you're not sinking in. So parallel foot, you're gonna jump out, and then land soft. Try to squeeze that glute as you press out. And as I said, if this is uncomfortable on your shoulder, you're feeling any neck tension, just lay down on your side with your yoga block or pillow. Deep bend in that squat, squeeze that glute as you press out. Exhale, just roll it down. At each time you press out, give that whole glute and quad a squeeze. Let's do eight more here. Resist it down. Seven. We have three more. Then we're going to draw a little circle with that leg. Last two. Last one. Now you're going to jump out, draw a little circle. A little half circle and down. A little circle and down. Try to stabilize the hip so you're just moving at that glute. So again, it doesn't have to be very big. We're going to do five more in this direction. Last three, make sure you're not sinking into this left arm, you're really pressing out of the shoulder. Three, up and around, two. Reverse directions with that circle. Little circle, resist down. We have five more in this direction. Jump out, sweep that leg forward, little kick, and we're going to add that arm. So the leg and arm sweep forward, two, resist it down, three, maybe small, four, five, and six, almost there, seven, eight, woo, nine, last one. And 10, come on in for a second. Woo. Pound out that glute. We're gonna do a little external rotation. We're not gonna do that very long. We should probably feel good. So knee and toe up to the ceiling. Again, press up out of that shoulder. You're just gonna press out and then pull it down. You should feel that oblique a little bit working. Keep that head neutral. Externally rotate, press out, squeeze that glute and quad. Five more here. Four. Three. Two. One more, then we're going to bring that knee in, little tuck up, just for time. Press out, tuck it in towards that shoulder. And two. Exhale, press out, tuck three. If you don't like this, then just stop or go back to the external normal jump. Four. Press out five, five more, and six. Press out seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. I'm gonna sit on.
down to the side of the carriage. Cross that right leg over your left. Lean that chest forward. Whew. Breathe into that stretch. Exhale. All right, we're gonna switch over to the other side. So again, if you owe any, if you feel any neck tension sitting up, put that yoga block down. You don't wanna over push it. So right forearm is on to the head rest, just past the shoulders. My bottom is to the back of the corner, or the reformer. You don't want to make sure, you don't want your butt to be up, so make sure you can still feel below the reformer. Left foot is parallel, press up out of that right shoulder. We're gonna exhale, press out, parallel foot, we're gonna assist it down. Squeeze that left glute. Main quad. Make sure those abs are pulled in and engaged. We're going to do four more here, then we're going to add that circle of the leg. We're going to assist it down. One more, now we're going to add that circle. So as you jump out, a little up and around. Remember, stabilize the hips, you're just using that glute to the circle. One more in this direction. The last one, reverse directions with that circle. Again, it could be small or big, just stabilize the hips. So you're only using that leg to do that circle, leg and glute. Try to keep that torso and pelvis still. Three more, and then we're going to do that leg and arm sweep. Last one, jump out, sweep that arm and leg forward, and then back. Two, it could be small, or if this is uncomfortable, then don't do the sweep. Just press straight out. Three more here. Last one, and come on in. Pound out that glute if you need. Then we're gonna externally rotate, toe and knee up to the ceiling, press up out of that shoulder. You're gonna jump out and land soft. Keep that external rotation, squeeze that glute and quad. Resist it down, try to keep that head neutral. Five more, and then we're going to do that knee tuck. Four. Three. Two. One. Now you're going to tuck out, bring that knee to that shoulder, a little tuck up. Try to keep that heel lifted so it's not dropping to your bottom. Exhale as you press. We have five more here. Last five. Press out four. Three. For two. And one. Come on in. Ooh, I'm going to sit on the side of the carriage again. You can always lay on your back and do a figure four stretch. Lean that chest forward. Breathe into that stretch. Feel stretching that left glute and hip. Roll well, on up, we're going to get into a little bit more heavy jumping before we take off the jump board. So I'm going to bring my headrest and my pillow back up. I'm going to go back to a red, a single red and a single blue spring. 
If your legs are already feeling like jello, you could go down to a red and a white spring or red and yellow. We're going to start with your feet in second position. Toes turned out. We're just going to start jumping. Press it out. Resist it down. Squeeze those quads and glutes. Deep squat on the way down. Make sure those feet are lifted so you're pressing that back down into the bar. Eight more here. Now we're going to go land one in first position and one in second. So you're just alternating between first and second. Getting deep in that squat. Start in second position. As you jump out, you're going to click those heels together midair. Then you're going to land back in second position. So a lot of inner thighs using those legs. Inner thighs to bring those heels together. So second position, toes and knees turn down. Take an inhale, exhale. You're going to jump out, click those heels, and then open. Jump board 
part of the workout. I'm going to take off my jump board because we're going to use the flip bar a little bit. So take yours off if you can. Just place it onto the floor or off to the side. We're going to come back to the reformer. If you're just joining us and you didn't do the jump board part of the workout, just hop on in. I'm going to put a single loose spring onto my reformer. We're going to do a little ab planking. I'm going to just put my hands onto the wooden platform. You can always put your platform extender over on top of the springs if that's more comfortable for you, or put the box on if you want to do forearms. So my hands are on the wooden platform. Wooden platform. My toes are on into the center of the reformer, just so I get a little bit more range of motion. So you're going to press out into a plank position. Abs tight, squeeze those glutes. My shoulders are just in line with my wrists. Slowly bend those knees in, and then press them out. Keep those heels lifted. You want to keep the shoulders still. Just use the lower abs to press in. If you want to make this harder, go down to a single white spring or a single yellow spring. Exhale, press out slow. Try to take about three to five seconds to pull it in. So you're resisting against the springs. And exhale. My feet have a little distance apart, they're not squeezed together. Pressing up out of the shoulders, keep the head neutral, eyes are looking towards the floor. We're going to do five more here. And exhale, press out for four. Next one, we're going to press out and hold the plank. Abs tight, squeeze those glutes, drop the shoulders down the back. Just keep holding 10, 9, 8, 7, squeeze those glutes, pull belly button up the spine, 6, 5, 4, 3, without coming down, bring one knee in towards your chest, press it back, and then switch. Stabilize through that core. There's small movement in the carriage, but not a lot. Pull it in, use those lower abs. You can always come down if you need a break. We're taking a break in a second here. We have four and three for two and one. Hold the plank and then come on in. Drop those knees down. It's back into a little child's pose. Stretch through those shoulders. You're going to come back in. We're going to go to a modified push-up position. So this time my feet are up against the shoulder rest, hands are still on the platform. You're going to press the carriage back so there's one long line between the hips and the shoulders and the torso. You're going to press the carriage back as far as you can, keeping those abs pulled up and in, and then slowly bring it in. Try to do a count of three to five, so resist against those springs. Press back as far as you can, suck the belly button up to the spine. And slowly pull in for four, three, two, and one. Keep going here, pressing out for four, three, two, one. And slowly pull in four, keep the head neutral, three, two, make sure the pelvis is tucked, and one. Go back out. Keep pulling that belly button up to the spine. The slower you pull the springs in, the more your abdominals, the shoulders, the triceps, the lats are working. Pressing it back. And slowly pull four, three, two, one. Let's do four more here. Pressing it back slow. Resistance. Two, one, good, back, slow, and slowly pull, use those lats, triceps, abdominals, two more here, you're just hinging at that shoulder joint, the lower body is staying as still as possible, one more here, 
back, and slowly pull in four, three, two, one, and come on in. Take a little breather, roll out those wrists if you need, we're going to do one more thing here, plank to pike. So place your hands back on the wooden platform, toes are going to go back on in the center of the carriage again so I have more range of motion, you're going to press out to a plank, abs tight, keep those heels lifted, look at your shins to pull the carriage in toward the stopper, keep those heels high, and then back out to a plank. Hold the plank for a second. And then lift up through the lower abdominals. Look at the shins. And then back out slow. Exhale, pike up and in. Slowly back out to the plank. You can always come down if you need a little breather. We're just going to do four more. Last three. Scoop up and in through those abs for two. Last one. Pull the plank down again. Abs tight. Squeeze those glutes for ten. Nine. Press out those shoulders. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, bend it in, come down to your knees. I'm going to reach forward, bring my foot bar all the way up. We're going to do a little single arm tricep press slash shoulder press. We're going to come to a quadruped position. My feet are up against the shoulder rest. I'm going to place my right hand onto the front edge of the reformer. My left palm is going up against the uh, foot bar. You're going to lean your chest forward so your torso is kind of in line. Your head is just hovering over the foot bar. Keep those abs pulled in, flat back. You're going to keep this elbow narrow by your side. You're just going to press the carriage out long. And then bend that elbow back down. So make sure that chest stays forward. If you lift the chest up as you press out, then you're not really getting the full motion. So keep that chest forward. Press it out, press out of the shoulder joint, and then pull it in slow. If you want to go heavier, you can do a blue and a white spring, or blue and yellow. This feels good for me, because I'm not feeling any, you don't want to feel pressure or any tension in any of the shoulder joints or elbow. You want it to feel good, and you want to feel like your muscles are working. Slow, in control, and the slower you go, the more your muscles are working and not the springs. Slow. So for this movement, your torso is not moving. The only thing that is moving is your left arm is bending and extending. We're going to do eight more here. Slow as you come in. Abs tight. Seven. That head stays just hovering over the foot bar. Five, resist down. Last three. Or two. Last one, you're going to press out and bring that carriage halfway in and hold it. Keep it held. A little pulse up and down slow. Ten. Nine. Eight. Keep resisting. Seven. If pulsing is uncomfortable, just hold it. Six. Five. Four. You should feel that tricep working. Three. And two, last one, press it all the way out, and come all the way in. Okay, I'm going to place that left hand on the reformer, right palm goes against the foot bar, lean that chest forward, the left hand can have a slight bend to it, head hovers over the foot bar, press the carriage out, 
and then bend it back in. Abs tight, back is flat. Right arm is narrow as you press, resist it down. Exhale as you extend. Slow and control as you pull it in. About three to four seconds. We're going to do five more here. Keep pulling in slow. Get that full extension of that right arm. Last three. Two. One more. Press it all the way out. Come halfway in with that right arm. Hold it there for a second. Now you're going to go up an inch, down an inch. We're up two, very slow, in control, working through that tricep. The slower you go, the more you'll feel it. We have three more. Eight. Last one, press it all the way out. And come all the way in. Okay, this next thing we're going to do is stay on that loose frame. We're going to put both hands on the foot bar. You're going to sit back. Elbows are going to be wide for this one. So if you're in that push-up type position or shoulder press position, head is just over the foot bar. You're going to press the carriage out, lift the chest up, and then bend it back in. Lift. If this is uncomfortable, just press out and in. We may want to add a spring, so make it a little bit heavier. So press out, lift the chest up, and then pull it in slow. It's kind of a quick motion. You're using the arms and glutes and abs. Press those hips forward. If this movement does not feel good with you, just take a little breather, or like I said, add a spring on. And just do both arms pressing up, but not jumping. Squeeze those glutes, bend it in slow. Make sure your eyes are always looking towards the foot bar. We're gonna do 10 more here. Nine, squeeze those glutes as you press out. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on in. All right. I'm going to add on a white spring so I have a blue and a white on. I'm going to put my head pillow on the floor. Grab on two reformer straps. We're going to do a little biceps here. So I'm going to place my feet through the headrest. You can cross your feet if you want, or you can always keep your legs a little bit wider than the shoulder rests. Palms are up towards the ceiling. You're going to make a C curve, lean back slightly, tuck the pelvis under, palms up to the ceiling, bring those wrists towards the shoulders, and then back out. Exhale as you pull in. Resist out slow. Actively squeeze those biceps as you pull in. If you feel any neck tension, drop those elbows a little bit lower. If you can keep those elbows in line with the shoulders, slightly lower, then great. Exhale, pull. Slowly resist out. Keep tucking the pelvis under. Drop the shoulders down the back so they're not hiking up by those ears. Good. 
You have 10 more. Slow and control. Nine. Last six. Last three, two, one, hold it here. Abs tight, just hold it, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, hold three, two, one, and roll on up. Arms are going to be long by your side, sitting up tall, you're going to press the hands back past the hips, chest expansion, and then down slow. Your hands might be a little bit wider than the reformer. Drop the shoulders down the back. If this feels too heavy, you can always drop down to a single blue spring, opening up the chest and shoulders. Sitting up tall through that spine, lifting the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Make sure your arms are straight, so you're working the back of the shoulders, the triceps, the upper back. Great posture and work, or a great posture exercise. We have eight more. Resist it forward. Fingertips long towards the floor. Last four. The last two. And one. Release it down. I'm going to reach back and take off my white spring so I still have, so I have one blue spring on. You're going to straddle the machine so your feet are on the floor, straddling. And I'm going to cross my straps. So, I'm still grabbing onto the handles. You're gonna lift your bottom up to a hover. And you're gonna do a double arm rub, pulling it back, releasing it forward. If this feels too heavy, you have the option of scooting yourself forward and grabbing up higher on the ropes. Or you can go down to a single white spring, or you could just sit cross-legged and do a row as well. So, three options. I'm going to stand up, right onto my handles. Your toes are turned out in second position. You're going to pull the straps, squeeze the shoulder blades, release it slow. You can also uncross the straps, and that will also make it a little bit easier. Stay low in that squat, pull the shoulders back, and release it forward. So those elbows are narrow as you pull back. You want to drop the shoulders down the back, not let the shoulders hike up to the ears. Keep that head neutral. If your legs are tired from the jump board, you can always sit on the reformer. And again, do the same motion, but you might need to go a little bit heavier to a blue and white or single red spring. We're going to do 10 more. Exhale, pull nine. You want to keep that torso still, so you're just pulling back with those elbows. The last three. And two. Last one, pull those elbows back. Drop it down in that squat for ten. Nine, eight. If you're not standing, you're sitting, just continue with those arms for a little bit more. For six, five, four, three, two. You're gonna hold that squat. Now pulses with those arms, pull those elbows back. For 10, nine. If you're sitting, you can pulse, uh, pulse those arms. Eight, seven, just pull those elbows. Six, five, four, Three, 
for two, and one, release and have a seat. Good, just hang up your straps. I'm gonna swing around to the other side. I'm gonna put a red and a blue spring on. Keep the head rest all the way down. We're gonna go into a few bridges. Arms long by your side, heels on the foot bar, feet hip distance apart. Inhale, exhale, tuck the pelvis under, roll up one vertebrae at a time, articulating up through that spine, squeeze those glutes, pull those ribs and abs in. And exhale, slowly roll down, one vertebrae at a time, relaxing the pelvis at the bottom. Exhale, tuck under, keeping the hair as still as possible, rolling up, squeeze those glutes to the top, Make sure those knees are hip distance apart. Try not to let them flare out or in. Tuck under and roll up. Lengthen long through the front of the hips. Slowly articulate down. A few more here, then we're gonna add on. Roll down slow. Down slow. Last one, we're going to hold it at the top. Exhale, tuck under. Holding at the top. Squeeze those glutes, pull those reps. Abs in. Keep squeezing. Five more seconds. Four. Hold it for three. Two, you're going to keep a flat back. Drop your hips halfway down. All the way up. Go slow. So you're using the hamstrings and glutes to lift. You're lifting through the pelvic bone. You're not lifting through that back. You don't want an arch of the back. And press through those heels. Resist down. You have six more. Lift five. Four. Three. Two. The last one, you're gonna hold the hips up. You're gonna press the carriage out as far as you can. Ideally, straighten the legs, but your hips are still up to hover. And slowly pull the carriage in. As you pull the carriage in, the hips will lift back up. Pressing the carriage out, the hips will drop a little bit to a hover. Slowly resist in, abs tight. Pull with that hamstring and glute. Resist in. Use the hamstring muscles to pull. Don't let the springs do all the work. We have four more. The last three. Press out two. Last one, we're only gonna come in halfway with that carriage. Pull it halfway in and hold it. And a little tucks. Just tuck your bum under and squeeze those glutes. Two. Tuck under three. It's very small. Four. You're just doing a tuck. Five. Six. Hold that carriage still. Seven. Tuck, squeeze. Eight. Keep breathing. We have five more. Squeeze those glutes. Four. Deep tuck of the pelvis. Three. For two. And hold it, pull that carriage all the way in, and roll down one vertebrae at a time, all the way down to the corner. Bring your headrest up if you like it. We're just gonna finish with a few leg circles. Press the carriage all the way out. Put one foot into the strap, and then the other. I still have the red and the blue spring on. If you wanna go heavier, go to two reds. So I'm gonna drop my legs down, circling out and around. Just relax the hip joint, inner thighs. Abs tight, stabilizing the hips and pelvis. This should feel great after jumping. Just kind of flushing out those legs. Make sure the legs come all the way together at the top before you lower. We have five more in this direction. The 
last three. Last one, reverse directions with that circle. Open the legs out, sweep them together, and then back up to the ceiling. Make sure the come, legs come all the way together at the bottom before you lift up. Stabilize through the hips and pelvis so they're not rocking. Two more here. Last one. We're gonna go into frog, toes apart, heels together, bend and extend all the way out, length and long through those heels, straighten those legs all the way, zipping up through those inner thighs. Last four here. Squeezing those heels, squeeze those inner thighs. The last one, press it all the way out. Straighten those legs, bring the legs up to the ceiling, pull down on the ropes. Relax the back and hamstrings. Place the bottoms of your feet together. You can either drop them down towards the springs if that feels good, or grab your feet and pull them in closer like a little butterfly stretch. And rock the legs side, or rock the body side to side. I'm going to reach that left leg out to the side. The right leg is staying bent. Feel a stretch in the inner thighs. Bend the left knee in, reach that right leg out to the side, feel a stretch in the inner thigh. Try to keep that left hip down. I'm going to reach both legs up to the ceiling, holding into my ropes, and then pressing out to a little straddle. Only go as far as you feel comfortable into that stretch. That's why you're holding onto the ropes to help control. Release the straps, take one foot out, other foot, drop the straps down, go all the way up, and we are all done. I hope you guys had a great workout with the 30 minute jump board and 30 minute reformer workout, and I will see you guys next time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Bye.